Hi Libra, this is going to be your love message from August 17th through the 19th. It's good for the sun rising, moon or Venus sign of Libra. Keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not a personal reading meant for just one person, so it won't resonate with everyone that watches. Check your rising, moon or Venus sign. If this doesn't resonate on my sister channel, simply called Soma Chandra. The link to that channel is in the description below. Over there I read for all 12 zodiac signs. I just read for Libra and Sagittarius on this channel and on occasion Cancer, although I promise to start reading for Cancer more. If you're new to this channel, welcome, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. And if general readings don't do it for you, book a private reading with me. The link to my website is in the description below. And yes, I'm all moved into my new place. I hope the echo isn't too bad. I don't have my sound walls up yet to mute the sound. So hopefully it's not too echoey or loud in here. And I hope to God you guys can't hear the country music blaring from the community swimming pool, which is literally right below me. And I'm like, great. At my old place, it was truck stop tarot. Here it's going to be country music tarot. <laughs> hopefully you guys can't hear it. All right, let's get into it. As you can see, I've been a lunatic. I dropped a lot of Oracle cards and then we'll get into the tarot because I know you guys like to watch me drop the cards. I noticed, I think this is your energy right now from the Arrows of Love Oracle deck from Mystic Moon Oracle on Etsy. Honeymoon, early stages, lip service, trials of love, lessons, and available. So when I see these together, I think that you're available right now, Libra, and I think that you've learned some really important lessons through trials of love. And I think the lessons that you've learned are that in the very early stages, you might have fallen for a person really quickly because it was all just a lip service. I think you've learned a lesson of not buying into uh, the early phases of a relationship are wonderful, but they're very powerful and there's a lot of adrenaline uh, rushing, right? And I think you've learned lessons about that. I think you guys are available now. And I think for some of you, your heart is on lockdown, my goodness. <laughs> um, I also used this other great deck. I have the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. I have unspoken. I have a couple here. First of all, I think you have a secret admirer. Big time. New beginnings came out for you. New direction, fresh start, chance, boundaries, secret admirer, suppression, resistance, shyness, and avoiding, blocking, escaping, pushing away. I wanted to use my mermaid oracle deck as well and unseen too much is hidden from you and yearning longing for someone undesired separation and pining. These are the first two cards that came out for me. I think that someone might be yearning for you and you don't know it or you're yearning for, for someone but you won't come forward because you think they're hiding something or you're hiding this yearning or they're hiding yearning. Freedom came out as well. Independence and self-determination, but soul cage, rescue, escape from captivity, restriction. So you might have a person that's really pining for you that you don't know it and you just want freedom. You don't want to be trapped in a soul cage at all or vice versa. I do have the crane bag at the bottom of this deck as well. Sacred ocean medicine, clutter, declutter, choice. So you guys are clearing up the clutter right now. You have choices to make. I don't know if you know about this person. Yeah, because I was like, okay, what's going on here? Beginning, boundaries, secret admirer, and avoiding. So you might know that someone has a crush on you and you're avoiding them or vice versa. You might want a chance with this person. They might want a chance with you. I think you're trying to go in a new direction. I was like, okay, tell me a little bit more about this person or just about this situation. And I got unspoken, regrets, lost words, disappointment. I don't know why, but I feel like it's not so much um, like regrets is that there's something unspoken between you and a per another person and fantasies, dreams, fairy tale, imagination. Someone might be dreaming about you or you're dreaming about them. Consequences, karma, cause and effect. I think you might be weighing the consequences or this person is. This person might have gotten some karma or you're thinking about the consequences, weighing the odds, or they might be, and the chase came out preparation, relentless pursuit to victory. Somebody wants to chase you or you want to chase them. Confessions and deja vu came out at the bottom of the deck as well. 
So someone might confess their feelings or they might reveal something to you. They might also make some justifications. And I found it interesting that deja vu was here as well. Past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns. I don't think you want to repeat any patterns. I noticed karma here twice. Yeah. I'm just dropping cards everywhere. I will leave them for now. Let's get into the tarot. I dropped just a bit, but I'm going to wait. And I wanted to, to drop more on camera for you guys. Bear with me if I'm a little slow. I'm just getting my bearings. This is the first reading I've done in my new home. So it's a little weird. What's between you and this person is the Knight of Wands. So you're both very passionate people. You both could have fire in your chart. I don't know why I feel like the lighting is not very good all of a sudden. Hopefully you guys can see these cards. Maybe I should change my lights. I don't know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Hope it feels dark in here to me. But yeah, you're both the Knight of Wands. So you could have a lot of passion for one another, but no one's tied down. You could also be at a distance from this person. The challenge is the Ace of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. Is this the one that got away or someone just won't plant a seed? They're just bored and they think about it. They're waiting for something to start. You're waiting for something to start. Someone might feel as though they've had a missed opportunity with you or vice versa. Yeah, Libra, but you look good. You're showing me the Ten of Cups to the Chariot. Some of you, like me, have maybe recently moved. Some of you have recently gotten out of a situation or a relationship and there's been a happy ending with that situation and you feel good about it. Or I think you're just feeling very driven towards success or victory. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. You have cancer in your chart. You know where you're going in life. You're determining the direction. Family looks good. You want long-term stability. Your person is showing me the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra. They could be in their feelings for you, just waiting on you. Maybe you're giving them the cold shoulder. This person also might be trying to be very detached and direct. They might be very smart. They could be hooking up with another Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with, again, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe. I think this person's trying to stay in the present moment for right now, Libra. And I also think that they're just trying to be smart about things. I do have the fool at the bottom of the deck and the hermit and the moon. Whoa, the tower. Something's about to blow, Libra. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith, but they've really got to think about it first because there's a lot of uncertainty moving forward. You'd have to tear everything down and rebuild. I don't think you know if you can work on this at this time. Yeah, but I do have the Nine of Cups at the bottom of my clarifying deck. These want to be turned over. I don't want to see them. <laughs> so Libra, in your feelings, you're feeling the Nine of Wands, the Magician to the Star. I feel as though you kind of want to work alone right now. You could be trying to manifest an Aquarius in your life. You're trying to manifest positivity. You want to feel free, happy, healed. You want this renewal from within. And I think you know that you need to be the single catalyst for change. You're feeling very resourceful and powerful. But at the same time, you feel very guarded against this person. Like your walls are up. And I think that you just want to manifest a new direction in your life with emotional stability and a lot of healing, it would seem. Spirit, show me this person. How does this person feel about Libra? The Eight of Pentacles, they work a lot. They want to work on it. Oh, they're the hermit. This person might spend a lot of time alone at work. It could be a Virgo. Two of Cups. I think that you might work with someone who has a crush on you, Libra. You don't necessarily have to work with them, though. But this person sort of buries their nose in their work. You might see them out about town or you, you might work in the same place, go to the same gym something like that. They focus on career. I think they spend a lot of time alone searching their soul about you. They have feelings for you. My goodness. How does Libra really truly feel about this person spirit? Because I feel like the challenge is that this seed isn't planted. Someone's afraid they've lost an opportunity, but they won't do anything about it. How does Libra really feel about this person? Strength, you could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you have Leo in your chart. You're holding back. 
you have strong feelings, but you're, I, I'm hearing reserved. Five of Pentacles in reverse. I meant to read all in the upright, but I'm going to take this reversal. I think in the past, because of the Oracle cards, you're trying to break even and free yourself from negative relationship cycles. You, I think you hold back because you don't want to be left out in the cold again. What action does Libra want to take towards this person? The Wheel of Fortune. Let's see how it goes. Death. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Lots of change for you, Libra. Four of Wands. I don't know. Tell me a little more. Temperance. I think you're giving this person the cold shoulder. The devil. We got the angel and the devil here. Midnight in the garden of good and evil, as I like to say when these two come out. I think you're worried about getting involved in something that isn't healthy for you or good for you. Either that or you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Lots of major arcana. I think you're kind of saying it's up to fate. I'm going through a lot of changes and transformation. I want to feel stable right where I am. I need to be patient. You may have a lot of desire for this person. What is the devil? Justice. How much more major arcana can we get? Oh, yeah. Maybe you're learning karmic lessons, Libra. You really have a major choice to make here. And I think that you don't want to make the wrong one. I think you've made wrong choices in love before. Some of you are afraid you're getting your own karmic justice or maybe you're very hung up on giving someone else their justice for hurting you in the past. I think you're afraid of getting hurt again. Huh. Okay. Well, what, um, how does this person really feel about Libra deep down? How does this, I know this person has feelings for you. They won't show it. Ten of Wands. This person is carrying burdens they won't let go. Queen of Cups. She came in reverse. I'm going to take her in reverse too. I think this person is very in their feelings and they're feeling incredibly emotional. I think they're trying to be smart and stay in the present moment. But there's something weighing this person down. They're very focused on self-love. One more, please, for how they feel about Libra. You could have two queens on the table here as well. You could have two people. This person could be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This person's being casual with you. They might deliver a message to you. They might spend time with you in the 3D. Ten of Swords. I think this person's been through some pain. Or that could be you, Libra. Who's this player that hurt you? A detached, I'm all about me. This person could be hurt by this person or vice versa. Interesting. Okay. What action does this person want to take towards Libra? Two of Pentacles. They're juggling. They're not really sure what to do here. Yeah, they're afraid of getting hurt. Four of Pentacles. They hold back. I don't think someone's recently gotten a divorce or is sort of challenging the status quo or wants to march to the beat of their own drum. Someone might be clinging on to old ways, though. I want to ask this deck a little bit more. How does this further... What actions does this person want to take towards Libra? Two of Swords. They avoid doing anything with you. The Tower, but they think about it. This person might be avoiding blowing their whole life apart and making a major change. They're trying to figure out if they... I think they block having like a sudden awakening about you or making a major change. I think they're going to just hold their head high. I think they like your attention. What is the Six of Wands? Ace of Cups. This person has a cup of love for you. Page of Cups. The Fool. This person might be going through some major transitions in their life because the tower is here. Or they're having an emotional or spiritual transition happening. They search their soul. They're quiet about this. They probably work a lot. I think they're trying to be smart. I think they're pretty in their feelings with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Or they've recently gotten the Queen of Cups out of their life. Hmm. I think this person really realizes that they have feelings for you, but they really do have to leave the past behind. And they're very much right at the beginning. Pardon me, you guys. I have hiccups. <laughs> they're very much right at the beginning. They want something new. 
And I think they're sort of on the fence about you. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to be single. How do they see Libra? How do they see Libra? How does this person see Libra? They see you as the five of wands. They might think they have competition. They might think that the two of you are somewhat different. There's tension possibly, or they see you as sort of going through some crap with people. Four of swords. And I think that they think that this stresses you out and you avoid that. <laughs> How do you see them? Because I see that they are single. You see them as the four of wands wanting stability. They might want a homecoming with you. They may say, hey, come over. Let's hang out and eat these grapes in my backyard. The page of swords. You see them as defensive or curious about you. Maybe they're trying to think of new ways to communicate. Maybe they're afraid to spend time with you. What are you really doing, Libra? You're worried. Something's stressing you out. Why? What's the Nine of Swords? Ten of Pentacles. Well, we've got two tens here. You might be worried about long-term commitment, worried about being married. This could be a family, marriage, money thing that you're all stressed out about. Here's that Four of Cups again. Are you dealing with a Scorpio that's married? Maybe. Someone could be deeply influenced by societal norms, religion, marriage, family. We've got an empress here, something ending. The empress is you. It could be you. That's interesting. A decision needs to be made, like a breakthrough to the truth. Let's see what advice spirit has for you guys. Actually, no, let me ask one more thing. Spirit, what's the final outcome in the next couple days? Best case scenario between Libra and this person. The Queen of Pentacles. Now we've got another queen showing up. The Six of Wands. Some, If someone's married, they're going to pretend everything is fine and their marriage is great, even though it's blowing apart. You could have been ignored by an earth sign or... Here's the tower again. The tower's come out twice. I think things are really shifting and changing between you and this person or for you, Libra, or for them. And I think someone's just going to act as if you might be very focused on family and career right now, or they are. But the first message I heard is that if someone's married, on the surface, they pretend everything is fine, even though underneath... Everything is going crazy. Eight of cups and someone's ready to walk away. You're ready to walk away from them or they're ready to walk away from you or there's someone's walking away from something. I have an emperor and an empress at the bottom of the deck. Nine of swords, the sun. Okay. Is this? Okay. Wow. These aren't supposed to be in the reverse. Is someone having an affair with someone that's far away? Or something like that, because I've got a, I've got an emperor and an empress, and there's worry about this relationship. The sun, clarity being exposed, the queen of wands, the lovers. Somebody might just want to have a fun, passionate, fiery, independent kind of relationship, but someone could be married. We're gonna have a Leo involved, a Gemini involved, an Aries, a Libra Taurus involved. My goodness. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here, you guys, because so many court cards came out. Spirit, what is your advice to Libra? Don't click off. If you want to affect positive change, take the advice. Nine of Wands, search your soul, or not Nine of Wands. Um, that's the hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Search your soul. Spend some time alone and think about what's most important to you. You definitely need to take the leave the past behind with the fool here. It's okay to take a leap of faith. You have to have a beginner's mindset. Stand your ground. Stand up for what's most important to you. Make your boundaries clear to other people. You might have the high ground in this situation. For some of you, you might be thinking about withdrawing from a person or a situation and starting a new uh, relationship or a new situation. This could even have to do with job or family or moving or relocation or something like that. Your guides are saying to you, wait, one more card here. Yeah, patiently plan. Search your soul about this. You definitely need to have a beginner's mindset. Leave the past behind. If you want to take a new journey and leave this relationship behind or 
someone needs to do that first. I think you have the high ground, Libra, but two sevens here are about cause and effect. So seven plus seven is 14. One plus four is five. That's conflict, loss, and change. I think change is really coming here. And you need to stay in the present moment and be patient and plan. You're still recovering from something as well with the Four of Swords. Yeah. Okay, Libra. So that's your love message for the 17th through the 19th. I hope it resonates with you and I hope it helps you. Book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally about health, wealth, love, or destiny. The link to my website is in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care of yourselves. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.